क्वेश्चन फाइव ऑफ दिस एक्सरसाइज सेज हाफ द पेरीमीटर ऑफ अ रेक्टेंगुलर गार्डन होज लेंथ इज फोर मीटर मोर दैन इट्स विथ सो हाफ दिस पेरीमीटर इज थर्टी सिक्स मीटर्स फाइंड द डायमेंशन ऑफ द गार्डन सो द अनोन्स इन दिस प्रॉब्लम आर द डायमेंशन ऑफ द गार्डन स्पेसिफिकली द लेंथ एंड द ब्रेथ ऑफ द गार्डन बिकॉज इट्स अ रेक्टेंगुलर गार्डन सो द डायमेंशन विल बी द लेंथ एंड द ब्रेथ so those are the two unknowns and using the info given in the problem we have to set up a pair of linear equations in these two unknowns and graphically solve the pair to find those unknowns so let's start by drawing a rectangle to represent the garden so let's say this rectangle represents the garden and let's assume that the length of the garden is x meters and its breadth is y meters now what are the two pieces of information we can use to set up a pair of linear equations well the first one is this part which says that the length is 4 meter more than the width so this means that x is 4 more than y or i can write this as x equal to y plus 4 so this is our first equation the second piece of information is that half the perimeter of the garden is 36 meters now the perimeter is the length and the breadth added twice so length plus breadth plus this length plus this breadth so half the perimeter will be just the length and the breadth added once so the half the perimeter will be x plus y and we are given that half the perimeter is 36 so x plus y is 36 so this is our second equation so the pair of linear equations we get is x is equal to y plus 4 and x plus y equal to 36 now let's graph the two lines corresponding to these two equations and find the solution as their point of intersection so here is the axis on which i will plot the or graph the two equations the horizontal axis represents x which is the length of the rectangle and the vertical axis represents y which is the breadth of the rectangle now the two equations are x equal to y plus 4 and x plus y equal to 36 so let's first graph the first equation x equal to y plus 4 so here is an xy table and let's give two values to x and find out the corresponding values of y and let's pick values such that the plotting is easier so if i take x equal to 8 8 then y is equal to x minus 4 or 4 and let's take x equal to 16 if i take x equal to 16 then y will be equal to 12 So eight comma four and sixteen comma twelve are two solutions of the first equation. So let's plot them. So eight comma four is this point here, and sixteen comma twelve is this point here. And now all I need to do is to draw the line through these two points, and that will give me the solution line for the first equation. So here's the line passing through these. two points and this line is the solution line of the first equation x equal to y plus 4 now you can see that i have picked a scale on both the axes so that it's easy for me to plot the two solutions so for example i have taken a unit of length 2 and you will see that by taking the scale in this way both the lines become easy to plot now the second equation is x plus y equal to 36 so once again let's find out any two solutions of this equation and any two solutions which are easy to plot so if i take x equal to 16 then y will be equal to 20 because x plus y is 36 and if i take x equal to 26 then y will be equal to 10 so two solutions of the second equation are 
16 comma 20 and 26 comma 10. So let's plot these two solutions now. So 16 comma 20 is this point here 16 comma 20 and 26 comma 10 is this point here 26 comma 10 and now I just need to draw the line passing through these two points. So this is that line passing through these two points. So this line is the solution line corresponding to the second equation x plus y equal to 36. Now we can see that these two lines intersect at this point which is 20 comma 16. So 20 comma 16 is the solution of this pair. The coordinates of this point will give us the values of x and y. So x equal is equal to 20. So the length of the rectangle is equal to 20 meters and y is equal to 16. So the breadth of the rectangle is equal to 16 meters. So the solution, final solution is that the length of the rectangle is 20 meters and the breadth of the rectangle is 16 meters. So with that, we have solved question 5 of this exercise. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.